As you guys may already know, any construction project taking place always starts with the foundation. Why? Because you have to dig in deep. You gotta lay that foundation or in order to build a firm structure on it, or else it's gonna waver and it's gonna be more susceptible to not be solid in the future. So we're gonna take a quick ride around the Golden Hills neighborhood, which is actually home base for us. So there's a lot of construction taking place in this neighborhood with the few lots that they have left. Really is an amazing, beautiful community and we're starting to see the cost of real estate soaring up, especially with all these added state buyers that are coming in, dropping loads of cash. So we're gonna take a quick ride past some of the construction sites just to take a quick look at the actual projects in place and we can talk about that process, why it's so important to work on your ground game and build that foundation first. Let's take a quick ride in the car. So you can see this lot, which is actually two houses up from ours on the other side of the street. This was just a, a vacant wooded lot for many years. Um, recently sold, chopped down all the trees and they started pouring the concrete, putting the foundation in place. I feel like it's been two months or more that they're literally putting the framing in place, right? Putting up the members, pouring concrete, and then putting the blocks around it in order to really, really have a secure foundation with it and the crazy thing about it is after that they have that foundation in place it's level it's where everything needs to be that takes two-thirds of the whole project right you would think that hey just the concrete laying around the house is going to be you know quick and then we can start building that's absolutely not the case after we have this foundation layer in place you literally see these houses just pop up you see them framing them up right seems like one week it's getting framed, and then the next week you see the siding come up, drywall inside, and I feel like, boom, you see a roof come on real quick and the house is almost together. Like the phase from excavation, foundation, <laughs> you're in the weeds this whole time. Makes you realize as a person, as an entrepreneur or a business owner, the importance of really working your ground game, right? Working on building that foundation, and it takes years and years and years. You don't feel like you're having any progress, right? You're still at that ground level. But if you stay persistent, you keep on pushing through, eventually you're gonna get that foundation where it needs to be, and then that's where the growth happens, right? That's where, boom, sprouts up, framing members get laid, houses in place, and all of a sudden you have a beautiful furnished house in an amazing community, right? Or you have a well-operated business, well-oiled machine that's actually turning a profit instead of just breaking even year after year. So my best encouragement for you guys is to stay consistent because consistency is the key in this business. If you focus on where you want to go and you continue moving forward in that direction, eventually you're going to be successful. So let's take a quick trip down the road to these other houses on the street and we can see some of the progress on them, some of the scope that's come up and we can admire some of the workmanship around the neighborhood. So you can see here, this is where a lot of the new construction sites are coming up. They got the block foundation part rolling there. This house finished the foundation, came up real quick. We got the concrete truck here dropping some more cement that they're going to fill in some of the areas with the foundation. But I'm telling you, once that foundation is in place, you see these houses just pop up like crazy. Like last week, none of that brick or shingles were on the house. So when they get to a point where they start framing and it starts coming up, it's unreal how quick it comes. But it just really gets me when I think about the amount of work that it takes to really get that structure in place. So my best advice for someone that's getting started is one, find proof of concept, right? Find your structure, find your standard operating procedures, whatever you're doing. Once you get one building up, once you close one deal, you know, once you bring one product to market, 
then you can figure out how, how do I multiply this, right? How do I multiply the productivity that we're doing so we can spend the same amount of time, streamline the work that we're doing, and put up five structures, 10 structures, right? Or convert it to the sale side of real estate, close five deals, 10 deals a month. That is truly where you find your freedom, right? We can slide by and get a couple small things here and there, but you gotta have your, you gotta have your proof of concept first, right? So get that, bring it to market as quick as possible, and after that, it's just a, a matter of multiplication. So I encourage you guys to get in the game, stop waiting on the sidelines. If you don't have a roadmap, find a mentor. Find somebody that's willing to spend the time with you to pour knowledge and insight to share their experiences and save you from having to repeat the same mistakes that they've repeated or that they've made in the past, right? That's the best advice that I can give a new entrepreneur that's getting started is, hey, find someone that's already accomplished the results that you are seeking and figure out how you can bring them value, right? Don't just go into a lunch appointment thinking, what can I pull out of this person? What can I learn? But hey, how can I add value to what they're already doing? That is truly where you're gonna find your freedom, and that's how you're gonna build credibility in the market, that's how you're gonna learn the fastest, because let's be honest, you learn more by application than you do just sucking and acquiring knowledge. So get out there, guys, you are only one deal away from changing your life. Live it up. next time guys get out there stay consistent and take massive and perfect action you can find links in the description of the softwares and tools that we use every single day inside of our business I will see you on the other side stay great